Hi, and welcome to the road and traffic system for Unity 3D. Uh, we are going to go through and show you how to place a piece of road using the editor and a couple of the components with the editor. So once you've imported the traffic system uh, package for Unity, you'll see it come up in your project panel under traffic system. What you want to do is go into the prefabs folder and you'll find a traffic system prefab and we'll just drop that into the project. Now this is the main hub for linking your pieces together, creating your pieces and linking them together. Uh, what you want to do is put that probably in the center or wherever you want to start the very first piece of your traffic system and on the right hand side you have a whole bunch of base objects or pieces that you can put down for your traffic or sorry your road so let's start off with a simple two lane straight piece and we insert that now what you see here is you've got an anchor and an edit icon rotating around the piece you've just laid. This is because it's there's only one piece in the scene and it's selected both to be the anchor and the edit. Now what the anchor means is the piece that you have previously selected and the edit, which is the spanner, is the piece that you're currently working on. And that allows you to link uh, between the two as you place objects down. So we've only got one piece in the scene, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're just going to save that basically because there's not much we can do when we've got one piece. And it automatically jumps back to the traffic system once we've saved that and we can add another piece. So let's put another straight piece in. Uh, you've also got auto linking up here. So if that's turned on, as soon as you spawn the next piece, it will link the previous piece to the next piece. So there you have it. We've got two straight pieces. Our previous piece we added was the anchor and the next piece is the edit, which is the spanner. So they're all automatically linked up and you can see that uh, the right lane is headed in that direction and the left lane is headed in that direction. Let's do a piece or lay a piece that is not automatically linked up so you can see how simple it is to link the piece up manually. So we save that again and we take off auto link and let's add another straight piece. So put a straight piece in and you can see that the auto link hasn't happened yet. So let's go and link it. You've got a lot of linking options. Uh, the, the general options that you'll use are link all from anchor to edit. So from anchor to edit or link all edit to anchor if you want to go back that way to change the direction uh, you can link blue which is just the right lane if you only want to link them you can link pink uh, again anchor to edit and e edit to anchor and if you get it wrong you can uh, sorry if you want to link opposite which we'll get into later that's a bit of a special case and just ignore the other link options for now we'll get into them in another tutorial you got unlink as well uh, if you've linked it incorrectly. So let's just link all from anchor to edit. And you see that the direction of the blue goes in the right way because we're linking anchor to edit and the pink always goes in the opposite direction. Something to keep in mind. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll teach you how to rotate, flip, and all the other options to get uh, different pieces and start making a bit more of a, uh, a traffic system. Thank you.